me the map. So you think you can capture, is that it? I've already put things in motion. I've changed the will. I've informed the tribe. You'll be doing all this for nothing. It won't be for nothing. I hope you said your goodbyes. Goodbye. Come on, you. Rest him. Kristen, open up. Oi. Stupid uncle, you all. Hey, Tris. Max. Max White. Max. Max. Dick. What you gonna do about it? What's this? It's what we call a dead kangaroo, mate. Very funny. What happened to it? That I'm not so sure about. Oi, Max, out of it. But whatever it is, I think Mr. Skibby here has skipped his last skip. And you skip. Welcome to the country, Nick. You having fun? Anyway, all right. And pass. Good to see you. Put your hands or something. <laughs> you coming? You got any sparkling water? Some low carb? Uh, no, your highness. Got some beer. Bit early, isn't it? <laughs> Been here two seconds. You're already telling me what to do. That's a record, mate. I'm about to take a shower, you grub. <laughs> 
So why'd you call me out here? Give me a chance to get my feet up, mate. Peace. Right, so, a couple of days ago, I get a letter from Grandad. Here we go. It's marked about a month before he died. Someone wants to pass along to me. Okay, why do you need to see me? Oh, I don't know. Just thought maybe you might be a little bit interested. Also, it is marked for both of us, so, it's courtesy, mate. You're interested in Nick. Hope this letter finds you well. Sorry I can't be there with you both. I'm sure you're both growing into good young men. I made sure you get this letter to know my dying wish that my acres of land are given to the local Aboriginal tribe. They've been a great help with my research and my good friends. Tristan, I... Tristan, I've placed the land and decision in your hands. I trust you know the right thing to do. Nick, I need you to be there now for others as I was there for the two of you. I tried to give you boys the life you deserve. I have every confidence you will make the best of your situation. I love you, boys. Brenda. Love you too, you silly old bastard. Aboriginal tribe? Ah, uh, really don't know. I mean, when I inherited the place, there was like a whole bunch of like papers and books and just boring shit that I just packed away, but... Boring shit. Right, so what's your problem? So, there's this local developer. He wants to buy the land off me. Tristan, you understand that Grandad's property has been in the family for generations. Yeah, I know that. It's a lot of land, mate. Well, willing to pay a lot of money. How much? A lot. But it's obviously not what Grandad wanted, so I thought I'd check in and see what you think. That's right here. In his own handwriting. It's up to you. Up to me. He drove hundreds of kilometers to tell me that it's up to me. Okay, that's awesome. It was really worth the trip. So glad you came. Thanks, mate. Where are you going? Uh, that would be up to me. Just wait. I'll unpack my unit and I'll come help. So, Max, wait. <laughs> Bit of manual labor, eh? Look, I'm sorry about in there. I just... I didn't want to tell you what to do. What do you want to do? I don't know, Nick. Just... You should act like a brother for once. Help me out. Personally, I think you should do a granddad water. Oi. Yum. What do you reckon? It's a croc? Yeah. One magically swam this far down south. Doubt it. I think whatever did this is a warning. What do you mean, warning? For who? The house is full of valuables. Hilarious. Come on, just tell me, who did you piss off this time? Happened before. What do you got in there, Tristan? Just weed and coke and meth. Please tell me you're kidding. Max! Shut up! So? I don't believe this. So you know what? You're an idiot. I do believe uh, this you care about. You don't shut up that dog if you're gonna have to put it down. Max! Uh, of course I care, mate. Really? obviously sticking around. Has that part happened before? No. 
That's great. Makes you feel any better the neighbors were raided by junkies. I hope it's better, thanks. Who put you up to this? BJ. Yeah, of course he fucking did. So what? If this is it now, this is you. Huh? I ain't fucking talking to you. Careful. Huh? Shit. G'day. Garvey's the name. You must be Tristan. No, I'm Nick. No, that's... I'm Tristan. What's up? Oh, your grandfather spoke of both of you. I didn't expect both of you here today, though. You expected us would. No, it, it's okay. I think I saw him in my granddad's photos. Your grandfather was a fine man. You know, very, very good friend of our people's. Which is why I'd like to talk to you. Oh, right, I'll um, leave you boys to it, eh? Right. <laughs> uh, you know what, let's just let's go this way. So you got the letter I sent then? Right, so you sent that to me? Yeah, your grandfather asked me to keep it in safe hands and until the property could be handed over to the local tribe and <sighs> time's come now. Right. How would you feel about a cash payment instead? Because I've got this developer who's willing to give me serious... You know, the land here, it's... It's part of us. We're a part of it. It's inseparable. You, you can't take one from the other. It's sacred to us. Like this land that we're on now. Look, you... Grandfather had great faith in us. I know you'll make the right decision. How about you give me a call when you're ready, yeah? Yep. No worries, mate. He said he sent us that letter at Granddad's request. And he's gone? Yep. Then you want some answers? Uh, only if you do. Want to call him? Thanks for your help, by the way. It was awesome. Before, do you remember that time when I saved you? Huh? You know, from the kids next door, you're in like year six. Jeez. A while back? Yeah, but they were big kids. They were abnormally large. All I saw was you flying down the back steps, jumping on the biggest kid's shoulders and just smashing him inside the head. Yeah, and then I grabbed that cricket bat and just started smashing everyone. You always had a lot of fight in you. Yeah. What do you mean by research? Well, in Granddad's letter, he said the local Aboriginal tribe helped him with his research. Why, he didn't say anything to you? No. But like I said, I packed everything up in the old study. I'd be more concerned about what he said about you. You know, the helping others. I have helped others. You know, even Dad helped us after he left. He just abandoned me, Nick. Me and Mum. Stepdad. go inside. Yeah. Uh-huh. Max inside. Maxie. Max! Oh, 
I'll let you out later. No way. As if. What are you thinking? Giant possums? Yeah. Maybe it's the same guys who killed the roo. Maybe we should arm up again. So now you tell me you got guns? Yeah, in the shed. Guns and drugs. That is an excellent combination, Tristan. Well done. I think so. Who's this? Good news. News? What's you called, remember? Said you sold a heap of my shit. Invite us around to come and have a party. Uh, don't remember calling you, mate. Sorry. So what, you didn't sell any of my shit? Yeah, well, I sold some of your shit. I just don't remember calling, but I, I must have said my bad. I just all right. forgot. Okay, all right. Party's on. Hey, it's Fucknut! What asshole did you crawl out of? G'day, BJ. Oh, yeah? So how's life as a sellout treating you? <coughs> you and me is you and me. This stuff with Tristan, it's done. 
Is there? So this must be the big brother. I'm back. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kate. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Anya. Hi. How have you been? Okay. Yes. It's been a long time. Sure has. Hey, sorry about BJ. It's just a... A dick? Oh, you say so. <laughs> hey, princess. Don't... Pretty. I forgot how beautiful this place is. I get it. It's country, trees and shit. This is boring. Let's get to the party. Jace, go get my stuff out the shed. Man, I was just about now, to. Now, shithead! BJ! Sorry, babe. Sorry, man. No, that's no, alright. Hey, Kate, you wanna come? Sorry, BJ. He's just tired. No, Kate, you don't have to apologize. Every time. Women, huh? Meh, yeah, I'm starting to wear her down. I can make Thanks. you feel better. Mm, yes, please. <laughs> BJ, something I need to talk to you about. Mm -hmm. First of all, honey might be back any second, though, if she'd love seeing Rebecca. Yeah, uh, you're, you're, you're right. right. My, my pro's always right. Uh, Becky, sweetheart, give the man a massage. No, 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 that's not what I'm saying. What? <laughs> you gonna queer on me? You want to borrow my balls? Man up. Not a man, so you had a man, BJ. <laughs> what if you could have me? Great idea. Fun for everyone. Well, except Nick, because he's a little bitch. Yeah. I mean, some brother he is anyway. I've always been here for you, man. You and me, we're real brothers. Yeah, you're right. Now the party's getting started. <sighs> Great. So what do you think? About what? About me. About you and me. <laughs> You're joking, right? You don't hang around a lot of girls, do you? Not girls like you. No. <laughs> Packed it away, did you? Yeah. 
She knows that BJ is untouchable. Women just seem to find that a fucking turn on. <laughs> Besides, if she ever did wrong by me. <laughs> Jace, go check it out. Man, I'm wasted. Either you go and check it out or you stay here with the guy that you said no to. So you want to try again? He's angry. Atta boy. Bye. Bye. All right, my turn. Mm. Yes, it is. Aren't you calm? I'm fine, thanks for the concern. What you doing out here? BJ wants to crash out here in the van. Romantic. Seriously, I'm, I'm happy for you guys. No, you're not. What do you mean? You know what I mean. It was a time you agreed with me. Yeah, well, you made your choices and I made mine. Good to see you, Anya. So, what's with the German shagging wagon? You guys road tripping around Australia. You really want to know? Yeah, I really want to know. BJ? Tristan? DJ! Oh. Oh, for this. All right, go again. <laughs> this, this, this happening, yeah? Huh? Yeah? Hmm? BJ's got this thing about staying in one place for too long. Hmm. Happens when you break the law. The local cops tend to want to arrest you, that sort of thing. Yeah, well, at least wherever he goes, he takes me with him. What's that? Hey! What's going on? Whoa. That was Jason! That was Jason! 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 Jason, talk to me, where are you? Mm. You right? Hey, look at me, you heard? Look at me. Oh, you just had a little too much. You fought. Uh. <laughs> uh. 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 
Come on, man. Get up. We gotta go. Get up. We gotta go. Ugh. Back yet? No, neither of them. You didn't want to go help? <laughs> what was Jason? that? Jason. <laughs> what? Jason. Okay, ready? Oh. <laughs> what happened to you? Oh, fuck this crazy voodoo forest shit, BJ. We gotta get out of here. He's off his face. He could have seen anything. Did you see anything, Nick? No. Whoa. Wake the fuck up to yourself. Seriously, no more drugs for that man. All right, look, party's over. Let's just get him back inside. Thank you for finding him. Come on, princess. No. I'm gonna stay out here for a bit. I wouldn't stay outdoors if I were you. Fine. I'm staying in the house tonight. Oh, I'm fucking believable. What, some guy gets absolutely munted up on shrooms and everyone decides to bail? What the fuck is that about? Honestly, it's a party. Fuck yous. I have my own party. Running off? A bit hard. I live here, remember? It's all right, I'm used to it. I don't know what to say to that. But last night meant something to me. You know, you're... You know what BJ makes you out to be. I'm really not. I want to make you breakfast. I got nothing in the fridge unless you want beer. <laughs> so I'm going to go into town with Nick. Cook you anything you want. Anything in the world. As long as it's eggs and toast. I really like that. It's great. Hey, you should go check out the property. Go for a swim. Yeah, I might. Morning. What's up? You tell me. Ladies first. Oh, you two still be asleep? Where are you headed? Yeah. Cool. Hey, Nick, can we get a lift into town? Sure, guys. No worries. Jump get in. Get in, Nick. Nick. Are you? Hey! 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 Yeah, that's right. Taxi. Watch your stuff. Looks like it's you and me, rat.
Righto, get what you need to get. Be back in 20. Where are you going? Get me a chai latte. Oh, I hope they have skim milk. What's a chai latte? Yeah, absolutely. We'll just stop in on the way back. All right. I'll see you then. Bye. Is that your wife on the phone? Ah, uh, no. That was business. Was it? Yeah. I'm a big boy now. Oh. Meanwhile, what was that between you and Nick? You guys saw some sparks fly. Did you? I'll admit it was nice to see him after ages, but... I don't know. You guys talked it over? Have you? to talk about? I don't know, maybe the fact that you still hate him? What? I don't hate him. You know what it's like, after mum and dad divorced, you know, he could have grown a pair and manned up. No, he started to fuck off to the city instead. And your dad, have you heard from him at all? No, I don't really expect it, but at least he sent us money to keep us afloat. Um, are we done here, by the way? We're we just gonna keep walking around and around and around? What? We can't just walk and talk, catch up about life? Besides, we haven't even got to the bit about you and Beck yet. <laughs> and we won't. <laughs> you know, it's different for brothers, right? Why? Because brothers are the only ones who can hold grudges. Sexist. What's your rush? I'm just gonna be there when you get back. <laughs> Shut up. All I'm saying is, if you want closure with Nick, I think now's your chance before he leaves again. Thanks, Dr. Phil. We'll see. <laughs> That comes to 3737, thanks. You know, in the Chief Dictionary, we'll see means no. Does it? Yeah. I had no idea you were the expert on women. I must have missed the memo. Yeah, well, I am now. Look, I know he left us both, but there's too much history between you guys. Just ignore it. What'd you do with the ring? I don't know. Sold it. Where are you going? What does it look like? Coming, Kate? Oh, no, thanks. I sink straight to the bottom. Sure you don't want to go? Yes, I'm sure. Can you stay with me? Okay. Are you naked? Wait, what Look, I want to be with Tristan. 
Becky, you want to be tricked? Then fuck you. You fucked him once. Becky, come on. I miss you. Hey, but you had your chance. I'm not gonna sit around waiting for you to get sick of the onion. I'm done. Whatever. You'll be back. You always come back. I love you, Tristan. I love you. Where's Beck? Bitch is still down there. When we get home, can you get some new friends? What were you thinking? You invite us all around and all you've got is two-minute noodles and barbecue sauce in the cupboard. <laughs> I honestly don't remember <laughs> inviting you guys. Seriously, I must have been high or something. Yeah, Nick. I get high sometimes. I learned from the best, eh, hey, Big Nips? Hey, mayor of Brood Town. He's just having a joke. Sorry, I've got stuff on my mind. Oh, um, that reminds me. Um, can we stop off at that developer's side office thingy? Be cool? Yeah. Take the money. Yeah? I thought you wanted me to give it to the local Aboriginal tribe. I know what I said, Tristan. Jesus, you're not gonna bite his head off. What? I'm sorry, I... I just don't want you living out here alone anymore, okay? Uh-oh. I'm just gonna see what he has to say. It's no big deal. He's, um, coming up just over here. Cash money! What are you doing? Coming with you. You right to stay here? Think I'm ready. This is nice. I like what the bulldozers have done with the environment. <laughs> Just want to talk to you about. Oh, I'm guessing money. Money's good? <laughs> I wouldn't know. Do I look professional? Monday. Monday. <laughs> hey, Tristan, it's good hey. to see you again. Yeah. Yeah. Who's this guy, your bodyguard? As uh, my brother. Oh, okay. Family. John. Nick. Come in. Okay. Not much, and it's home. <laughs> See, I'm sorry about the flies. It's part of the course, I'm afraid. So, you just have to sign these papers, and you can be off to your beach house and surfing your days away. You surf? Uh, no. Not really. Oh. What about you, Nick? You surf? No. Oh, okay. Two from two. Well, whatever you do from now on, you, uh, you're going to be doing it in style. <laughs> the properties next to you are already sold. You, uh, last cab off the rank. Um, and this developer, what's he, uh, going to be, um, developing? Well, I, I never get into that with my clients. I mean, he can... Build a nuclear powered 60 lane bowling alley if he's dropping that kind of cash. Am I right? <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> and, uh, I, what is, um, what, what does this bit mean here? Oh, that's just, that's standard Australian, um, title law. So whatever is on the property at the time of sale is owned by the new purchaser. So what, what it means is water tanks, old cars, buildings, whatever's there, they own it. Okay. Cool. Um, that's all sounding pretty good to me, so, uh, what do you reckon, Nick? I think you should take a day to look at the fine print. Um, I thought you just said in the car. No, I know what I said. So, yeah, I'll, um, just take a day to think about it, and then it's all right if I give you a call tomorrow. Yeah, sure. No, you just, you know, you take all the, all the time you need. Thanks. What's that? Oh, it's just some Aboriginal art. There's a big tribal history in these parts. History? Yeah, right. Well, that means it's got a, a meaning behind it, right? It's special. Uh, I, I don't know. I just, I just, I like it as art. I've had it a long time now. Well, I think we're done here. Talk tomorrow, Tristan. 
Not a lot of construction vehicles here for a uh, nuclear bowling alley. Oh, don't worry, they're gonna be here. Who's worried? I'm telling you, the guy's a bloody liar. What the hell, Nick? You just met the bloke. Yeah, and I'm almost certain he's been the one sneaking around the place. Last night with Jason. And the night before. Wait, I bet that sick bastard killed that roo. Yeah, sure. What Why not? What kangaroo? What are you talking about? When City Boy got here, we found a roo that had been, well, was dead. All right, but I really don't think that a real estate agent is going to be snooping around trying to scare off the residents. Why do you have night vision goggles? Where? In the boxes out lying around, you idiot. Nick, I don't calm know. Down. Fuck it. Last night, when I found Jason, I looked up to the bush, and there was a dark, shadowy figure with red eyes staring right back at me. I couldn't work out what it was at the time, but the goggles in his office were the exact eyes I saw. Uh, here we go again. You see, when Nick just doesn't tell us shit, that's okay, because Muscles here is going to save the day, right? More like save your own skin as usual. Shut the fuck up, Tristan! <laughs> uh. The guy's up to something. You think. Maybe he's trying to get in your head, get you to sell this place for cheap. Mate, just come back with me tonight and I'll prove it to you. Yeah, and then what's going to happen? Pull off a mask and, oh, look, the monster was old man Richard's the whole time. Oh, Why not, give right? It a rest. You know what, BJ was right. You're not a brother. You just think about yourself. Go to hell, Nick, seriously. Fuck me! He's just still mad about you leaving him. Now you think? What are you going to do about it? Shoot him. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. I'm going to go to the study. See if I can find a reason that scumbag Richards be hanging around. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. What's up? Oh, nothing. Just Nick. That's what I've been trying to tell you, brother. Hey, man. What's going on? Oh, not much. Hey, where's, um, Beck? She went for a swim uh, a few hours ago now. Whoa, where is she? It's a swim, really. Hey, Danny, better go back to your mum, mate. And I'll see you later, OK? Hello? Come follow me. He's your uncle now. Try to enjoy this trip. When did you last see her? What is this, a fucking interrogation? When? Wait, I told you, last time I saw her, she went to the billabong to have a swim. We're gonna have to keep looking for her. We gotta go get torches. What did you do? You know what, Kate? I don't think I like you. If attitude. I find out you did something, I'm going to the cops. <laughs> oh, wow. you weren't like this last night when we were making out. Well, that was a colossal waste of my time. Just because we didn't find anything doesn't mean I'm wrong. Yeah. Are you okay? Thanks, Missy. What? Since when? Since we left this morning. Really? If you're gonna go look for her, take Max with you. Oh, I can take your dog, but you're not coming. <laughs> Scared of the real estate man, huh? I'm gonna go see him now. Huh. Braver than we thought. Go on, Max. Should go with him. They're gonna need some help. Hey, wait. I need you. Your help. I need your help. Oh, 
listen, I need to talk to you. Last night, I didn't even know in Anya, my wife... Anya! Fuck me, I took the van! Anya's going with Nick. Fuck a bitch, she knew I kept me keys. In the ignition? Fuck my shit. Eat a dick! Hey, Wait, why guys, you go? shut up for a second, would ya? Now, I don't care what's going on with you guys, but we need to focus on trying to find Beck, all right? Now, I say that we start looking for a down... No, 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 no. You know what? I'm gonna run this thing so we can get it over and done what? with. And leave the rat here. Uh, mate, I actually had a plan. Look, all I'm trying to do is help you find your girl, bro, but you don't want my help. Oh, yeah, mate, it's not like that. No, I'm just concerned, because if you don't know, the bush is really easy to get lost. And at night time, we've got no hope. Plus, Nick decided not to stick around as usual. Yeah, well, that's what Nick does best, isn't it? That tells me this guy's behind it. You want to find back? This guy knows. And you need me, why? Well, he's seen my distinguishing facial features, but, you know. He hasn't seen mine. Does it look like anyone's there? Does it look like I have x-ray vision? Can't see any cars. Might just wait a minute, eh? Oh, I think the coast is clear. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna uh, recon this sector here. A and you know what to do if someone comes? God, this is so cliche. Oh, <laughs> what are you gonna do if you find something? Well, I don't know. I, I lift. Quick, oh my god, quick, get me back, go! Who is it? I don't know. Stay down. Hey, how you going? So what's a pretty thing like you doing all the way out here? Oh, um, my car's not starting. But um, thanks, uh, thanks for thanks for asking. You need help? No, 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 that's fine. My fiance's on his way. I just spoke to him. Fiance. Yep. Uh, Two months today. Well, I hope it gets here soon. You don't know what's out here. Lions and tigers and bears. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my God. Where do you find these people? Okay, back there, detective. No. I thought Yoko was big in the city. Shush. <laughs> <laughs> I like this story about the fiance. What, you and BJ getting hitched? No. <clears throat> I know you saw him and Kate. Well, I wasn't going to say anything, but... You know, maybe you guys have one of those open relationships. Hey, he was really good to me when you left. It is a real engagement ring, though. You kept it. I have regretted that decision every day for the last seven years. And why the hell did you leave? Tristan, you love me, you just, you just disappeared, and then that was it. Who the hell does that? That was the hardest thing I've ever had to do. But he left us. Who? Sam. Your dad? Stepdad. Tristan was really young when Mum married Sam. They got on fine, but me and... But that bastard took my family for everything it was worth. Someone had to step up. 
someone had to provide. Tristan was just a kid, and I know it's no excuse. But I didn't have the guts to look you in the eye. It was a long time ago. I think the rain stopped. You should probably get in there in case he comes back. It's hard for me to bust out my big red master key. Or Tristan's master key. <laughs> I don't want to know. We'll talk about this later. Uh, Jace, Kate, you guys go down that way towards Billabong, yeah? Billabong's this way, mate. Huh? Give a fuck. Can't believe I was slut chops. <sighs> Fucking off with Nick like that. Did she say anything to you? Just that she was glad to see him. What's that? She fucks me off. <sighs> Jesus, quiet. Yeah, well, it's country. It's supposed to be quiet. I mean, this is really quiet. It's never this quiet. Well, I know kangaroos and stuff like that. They can't kill you, but they can box you. Same Facebook, man, those drop bears. Vicious little fuckers with those teeth. Fuck me. BJ did something to her, you know that, right? I don't know anything. That about sums you up right now. Look, even if he did do something, what's he gonna do to us if we say anything? Besides, seems like you were pretty keen to get down his pants last night. Jason, I said I was sorry. I was drunk and he made a move on me like he does every girl. God, can't you see? He's always gonna treat us like shit. He's poison. And you are such a nice guy, but you need to stand up for yourself. Is that the dog? What are you doing out here? We've been looking all over for you. Come with me. Eh? Come with me.
Oh, well, you were. Yeah, what was I supposed to do? It's about survival, you know that. Oh, you know what, BJ? I've just about had enough of you. No, I listen to your advice. I, I listen to everything that you have to say. This is the kind of person I might as well listen to this guy. No offense. This is you. Dad. What's going on here, Garvey? What is this thing? Is Richards trying to scare my brother off the land? Is that it? Richards is the least of your problems. You know what's going on. You work for them. I don't. What's going on? No. No, it's bullshit. It's not bullshit, son. It's true. And we need your help. Hey. Are you OK? Dad? No, you... I'm not. What the fuck is he talking about? It turns out my grandfather was a cryptozoologist. A what now? Someone who researches mythical creatures. And he studied bunyips. I know it sounds fucking insane, okay? It but does, it's the truth. and you dragged me out here and didn't tell me anything again, and you expect me to believe this fantasy story that it's you've not made fantasy, up It's not fantasy, miss, it's head. reality. And if you can stop the domestic, we need to go. Now. I can't believe you lied to me. Actually, I can believe it. It's, I didn't think you were going to believe me. Fuck, I don't believe I... me. Fuck, I'm an idiot. Hey, let's remember who kissed you, all right? Is everyone okay? The fuck is that guy? Shut up, BJ. Dad, what are you doing here? Hey, this reunion's great and all, but come on, man, we need to get the fuck out of here. We're not going anywhere. Hello, Tristan. Oh, hey, what the actual fuck is going on here? Son, you and I need to talk. Your dad, huh? Anything good on? Okay. I'm sorry, I haven't contacted you in years. But why now? And how do you know Richards? Look, things are happening pretty fast, so you're gonna have to run to catch up. This creature is what killed your grandmother and eventually your grandfather. Now, Mr. Richards wants nothing more than to stop this thing before it can kill again. And I only agreed to help because I knew you were out here, son. You have to trust me. Why didn't Richards or you just tell me this? Come on, you think you would have believed this? No, you had to see it for yourself. Okay, well, what was that I just saw with Rebecca coming out of the water like that? Well, Rebecca is... She's uh, a good friend of mine. She's um, this girl that I've been. Did anything else happen? Well, Nick's out there with Anya, you know, that girl that he was seeing. And, and Kate, Jason's girlfriend, she just got dragged under the water. Uh, <laughs> what happened to your face? An occupational hazard. Shit! Oh, he's fine. If Garvey is telling the truth, that means Richards does have something to do with this. No, I bet he's at the property right now. And if Garvey's just crazy? Then Richards is some old creep who likes to play dress-ups. Which is also fucking crazy. Wait, take him. Hey, um... Don't worry, I'll go back and warn him. 
Richard is already there. Stop worrying about me. You must have a lot of questions. So it looks like the whole process has been sped up. It's been sped up? She's definitely got one, maybe two. Jesus Christ, yeah. I mean, that's just fucking perfect. What about, what about the woman in the tent? Why did they just use her? Three girls need to be connected. Can... I was just with one. This is still our best bet. There's still one girl left. We can lure it out with that. Okay. You have to understand, this is yours in the planning. Hey. You know what this is worth to the company? Yeah. They tested the weapon, I uh, uh, clone it, whatever. It's more money than you and I can ever dream Everybody of. Everybody just needs to do their job. Okay. So do your job. So have we got any weapons? Yeah, in the shed. Man, we still don't know what happened to Rebecca. Something's not right, man. The thing got Kate. Now all these private military dudes are all decked out and all over us. No ID, no nothing. Who's paying these guys? What's up, man? Who's paying these guys? Where do they come from? What do they want? Something is all wrong. So, how would you boys like to be rich? I'm listening. That's a good one. Thanks, by the way, for looking after the family. I really needed it. The support, I mean, obviously the money. It's just nice to know that someone cared, because Nick didn't. Sure. Happy to help. No, I'm, I mean, it was just really good to actually know that you were Jesus out there. Jesus Christ, and... Tristan, just... Give it a rest. Hey. No, boy. Stay. See, you understand. Yeah. And he's gonna be safe the whole time? Sure. Kids have been brief, you're gonna help us out. Tristan, how many vehicles do you have here? Uh, well, I've got my old truck, but I don't know where the keys are to Nick's youth. No, that's okay. With ours, that's four. It's two per car and one shoots, one drives. And these guns are going to take this thing down? My men take it down, then they net it. Okay, you guys are just back up. No one needs to be a hero. And then we find Kate? And then we'll find Kate and Rebecca. Dad! You ever shot a gun before? Yeah, video games. What's going on? Come on. I need you to call Anya. Tell her she's in great danger. She needs to get back here as soon as she can. <sighs> Okay, so if she's in great danger, then why am I telling her to come here? Shouldn't I tell her to go as far away as possible? Remember I told you to trust me? Right? Remember you said you were going to give me some answers? Right. You need to trust me. You owe me this. When the Rainbow Serpent created the Earth, she also created one wise man, the army. She gave him the power to protect the land, tribes and people, and all the animals. And she returned to her place of sleeping from whence she came from. One man didn't like this, you see. He went and ate a sacred totem animals. This enraged the army. The army decided to punish him. But during that fight, his tribesmen took on spirit form. That man became Bunyip. <laughs> Bunyip swore vengeance on all the tribes and all the people across the land. His evil spirit infested all the waters and all the billabongs. He would devour anybody who went down there. He would destroy anybody who would try to stop him. Nobody ever could. So this thing, still out there? It always is and always will be. That is the way of things. All the tribes and people living under fear of Bunyip they asked Biami for his help and protection. So Biami decided to cage Bunya, his Ganya, his home, that waterhole, for all eternity. Three women, they decided to test Bunya's power. They went down to the waterways. 
But instead of killing them, devouring them, he gave them the gift of eternal life, making them his forever. And they became evil spirits as well. And they lurk in the waterways. And they lure down the men, women and children, drown them. They allowed Bunyip to travel beyond his gunyard. So you can see why your grandfather wanted us to have this land. He'd found Bunyip's resting place. But why does Richards want the land? So we can what, capture it, sell tickets? For centuries we have protected the land against this great evil. This Mr. Richards is a foolish man. Not like your stepfather. Sam. The evil one is on the move. Wait, 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 stop. What about Sam? Two water spirits follow. You sure? It's happening once again. Three girls. Two already under his spell. Fuck. You should have told me about Sam earlier. Look, it might have been your grandfather's legacy, but it's our past. We'll deal with it. We always have. Everything's so fucking secret. Well, life's meant to have secrets, Oh, son. she took the fucking van! Go on, go. Get them all away. We won't be far behind you. Sweetheart, <laughs> waiting on your fiance. What? How's the wedding plan? Richards, I've seen your little dress up shop. I don't know what you're playing at, but let me go. Hello, Anya. Sam, help get this off me. You know, at one point, you would have made a beautiful daughter in law. You're Richard's client. What is this, the part where you tell me your grand plan? What the fuck is going on, Dad? Kristen, help me! Anya, you okay? Oh. BJ, what the fuck? Tristan, just shut it. Just caught doing what you have to. God. Did you remind me of your grandfather the night he died? What? Richards? The girl wasn't part of the deal. Yeah, I tend to lie a lot. What do you know about my grandfather's death? There's a reason why I married your mother. You're all about your grandfather's work. BJ, I think you should let Tristan go. Shut up, man. Richard! BJ, let him Richard, go. Richard, you listening to me? Let him go. She wasn't part of the deal. BJ, let him go! Can we focus? Christ's sakes, Richards. Tristan, you and your friends, back in the truck. After all these years of you helping out the family, how could I have been so wrong about you? What the hell are you talking about? To the right! I gagged a girl. What? Oh, oh, oh. Feel free to scream. Uh, uh, uh. Get in the teeth. Chase, you hit me. Yeah, well, at least one of us is thinking clearly. We'll talk about how you screwed me over later. Shit! Shit! Go to the country, she says. Have fun over the weekend, she says. Oh, we'll go have a drink. Shit! Shit! I think we're screwed. Yeah. Gotta protect Anya. Need to find Beck and Kate and get the hell out of here. Good luck. You too. Lights out. 
Lights out. Silence. Here we go. Go back. Find Jason. Yeah, yes, I should. Hey. It's not holding. Get the tranquilizer. Jace me! Jace! You in there, man? Uh, am I am I still alive? Yeah, man. Get out of here. That doesn't work here. There's not even skin. Get the electricity. And where's Richards? So sorry, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, where's Nick? Uh, there was a bonfire and an Aboriginal man and Richards, and there was a suit that looked like that thing. Aboriginal man? Navi? I don't think so. What have you accomplished? You betrayed your family. You don't know what family is! Watch this! I don't think that's what he wants to say. Me either.
right now. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Wait, wait for it. BJ, turn around. Turn it back. Hey, find it. Over here. Hey, sweetheart. We can talk about this. Come on now. It's okay. Oh, God damn it. Oh, fucking money. Without Kate Beck and Anya, you got it? Now get back in the truck and turn around. All right. Come on! All right, fine. Come on! BJ? BJ, whatever you do, don't turn around! Stay the fuck away from me. Stay away!
Fist. They're gone. Where's the final girl? She's not the final girl! And he's my brother. Help me. There's only one place we can find Banya. It's in his Ganya. Come on. Great. Now, how do I kill this thing? Do I get a gun or something? No, don't worry about it. Wait! Tell me! Banya completes the ritual. Your girl becomes that bad spirit. There'll be nothing we can do. The tribe's anybody. He'll be wreaking his havoc right across the land. But you, of all people, should know what it's like to give up something you love for the greater good. How can you know about that? I know a lot more than you can imagine. Okay, if we're getting close, let's go. Sam, get off me! You don't have to do this. You do not have to do this. I'm running out of time. Ah! Oh, no, 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 we did. No, 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 no. He did all this for some money. Don't be naive. Everybody's got a price. That's bullshit. Bullshit. I haven't got time to spoon feed you. And this is my time. I've sacrificed everything to get this. I trick BJ. You girls, you're the bait. I brought Richard in. I killed Clyde. <laughs> I killed Clyde. <laughs> so be a good girl. And die. Hey, Sam. Go fuck yourself. This is where we found your grandfather. Did it kill him? Banya was there in the night, but your grandfather died of a gunshot wound. Sam. Son of a bitch. You get your brother, you get the girl, you get them out. It'll give you time. Time for what? Time for me to lure Banya back into his cave. But I can't do it while the girl's under his spell. If I use this, while they're under his spell, they die. So when everybody's free, you get them out. But you don't wait for me. You understand? Take this. And these. Two bits of clay and a stick. Ancient weapons. We use them for ceremony. In business like this.
the ritual. What? How do you know? This way. Sam. Nick. Sam's gone. Oh, right. It doesn't matter. Are you guys okay? You will be when we get out of here. Take this. Thank you. We gotta go now.
What's the step? Hey, look after them. You're not coming? Tristan's still down there with a thing and stuff. I can't believe Sam's capable of this. I can. That's why you left for the city. Meet us back at the house, all right? I love you. Go. I mean, come on. Come on. Got it. You okay, mate? Hanging in there. <laughs> Let's get you out of here, okay? Down that tunnel's the way out. I knew the girls would meet you at the house. All right? I'll see you at the house. Come on, Nick. Are you kidding me? I'm not leaving you like this. This isn't gonna be over until I stop you. You're in no position to fight. Just fucking go, mate. Please. Just go. Please. <laughs> Let's see you back in the house, yeah?
Never forget the evil spirit. If you venture out to the river alone and you see a black shape in the water, hear its bellow, or you hear the animals of this great land go silent, I suggest you be careful. Fanyap's still out there.